Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Emrys and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy. In the last video a lot happened where we escaped the Universal Church of Truth and ended up in a spaceship battle with mercenaries sent by Lady Hellbender. So thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoy and I'll catch you all in the next video. Yep, old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, group. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Okay, well, I'm afraid I can only know one, so... I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? Well, hang on, what if we pay off the fine that we were supposed to anyway? Maybe that'll get their attention. Because there's the world mine that, um, Crow was doing it for. Uh, crime in progress. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. But then again, it would have been a past crime oh, that we'd have done. Got any ideas? We should tell them about the promise. Right. Yeah, the promise. So that's what I'm thinking now. Report your crime, turn yourself in, pay yes. fine. There we go. Connected to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. It's sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three, three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind's collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, a jack, so or a if we share the intel. You better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well... How to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. 
Given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> have you seen what your planet looks like? Question, Zandarian where are you going? Oh, you have a do to protect this galaxy. Is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? Unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source, source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot, cannot be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into the Well, we can't see your schedule, let's just gonna get that backed up. So, point in perspective. Drax, he's as dumb as a stick, and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... It's is not magical. magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist. exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You, you have, have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. It's 7,000, still leaves us 5,000 units left over, so that's still a lot of units to walk away with, so... Yeah, might pay it off. Alright, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. Alright, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
accepting the promise. We got a job, Quill. I know. Patrick's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. All right, let's take this opportunity to look around the ship then, see if anyone needs to have a little talk with Drax. Drax you okay? I, uh, I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent. Just try to get some rest if you can. Been trying to leave him alone as best I can. In fact, most of the crew, if they want to be left alone, like Gamora when she was swinging her sword downstairs Look, earlier on. It's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. I mean, everyone was throwing a tantrum back there. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Who else can I? Talk really? To like... How did you? Uh, Wait, what? I'm gonna get fleas. Oh, it's the llama thing. The. All right. Well, Rocket's not in his room. We need to have a little talk with everyone. Let me just see what the objective is. Relax in your quarters. We've talked to Gamora. We've talked to Drax. Uh, hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh... Not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. Ask about the tea, get his advice. Say, bud, how do you stay so level headed? I am Groot. I mean, every time Scud happens and we're down on the ditch, you never seem to lose your morale. I am Groot. Wow. Wish I could understand that. You have it all figured out, don't you? Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. Mora, you all right in there? Talk to the door. Knock louder. Look, we're all frustrated. Uh, I guess I talk to the door. Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world might aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. What the heck? Yeah, that's as much as I can do with the crew. I mean, I, I guess I better go to my quarters now. So what I'm gonna do about this llama thing. What? Oh, uh... Yeah. Strange thing to collect. I mean, I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's... It's not like that. I found him in the quarantine zone and I just... kept him. Why? <sighs> I don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... It's stupid. Not... necessarily. You want to talk about it? Uh, so I was a prisoner and deadbeat dad. I don't know if you know this, but my dad is the king of Spartak. So, ever been into Chari Prime? Ever been to Shatari Prime? More times than I care to admit. Then you know what it's like. How they're like. Scritching, scratching, hissing. Reptilian stuff of nightmares. Oh yeah. Hard to forget. I've seen some pretty messed up movies, but nothing came close to what it was like living on Shatari Prime. I was just a kid. I didn't even know aliens were real until they showed up in my backyard. <laughs> and now? And now you're surrounded by aliens. There aren't a lot of humans out here. Sure, there's a few of us kicking around. Richard Ryder. Right. That guy. Might as well be an alien. Point is, I'm pretty much alone. All because the Shatari saw me as a valuable asset. Not just the Shatari. Thanos. Of course, your dad was pulling the strings. I think I'd almost rather Thanos over those lizards. I can promise you that Thanos would not have been the better option. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, do you know what the Shatari do to their prisoners? The unvaluable ones? They throw them into an arena and make them fight monsters. They take bets, sabotage favored prisoners by breaking a leg or an arm, all for their messed up insect entertainment. You survived, Peter. Men stronger than Drax have been slaughtered in those arenas. You lived. Yeah, I survived all right. As a bargaining chip. Would you have preferred death? I don't know. Back then, maybe. Now, not so much. Then be glad you made it out at all. Helen knows I'm glad you did. Uh, dad be dad. I don't know if you know this, but my dad is kind of the king of Spartax. I know. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. You're you. Yeah. And it's not exactly a secret. It's what I would have done. Kidnap the progeny of a powerful leader to control them. I mean, Hala knows how long they kept you. Except that it was for the express purpose of keeping the Spartoi Empire from joining the Resistance. Four years. What? Four years. That's how long they had me. Four Earth years. And a few days. I'm sorry. Don't be. For a long time, I thought my dad would come get me. Raise an army, send in spies to break me out, something. But he didn't. Guess it wasn't politically advantageous. Fathers suck sometimes. Trust me. At least your dad wanted you. Even after the war, my wouldn't see me. One, want is a nice way of saying kidnapped. Make no mistake, Peter. You're not the only one who was stolen from their home. And two, you went to Spartax? Even had a speech worked out and everything. Hey, Dad, it's me. Your son you left to rot in a Shatari prison? It was that or punch him. I was undecided. Still am. Getting into the White House would have been easier. White House? Basically, my dad loves bureaucratic bullcrap. I thought being his only son would be enough to get me an audience. Turns out I needed an appointment. 
The Spartoi Empire was in political shambles after the Galactic War. He was too busy to see his kid? Yeah, I got the message loud and clear. I lost everything I ever loved because of him, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. I'm so sorry, Peter. Don't be, I just... Mm, really want to punch him. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. I guess. Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. And the bed smells. Great. Pretty cool music to listen to. I think I was waiting now until we go off to sleep. I am wondering now if this is going to be another flashback sort of event. Okay, what the hell is going on? We have a ship. This is our room? Uh, Why is it so small? Uh, Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... Me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... Fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if... We're some kind of big space hero now. Why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, Why are we in the ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. The quarantine zone hey, at the beginning go. of the game, so why are we back here? I mean, I get this is part of the dream. But why are we here? Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Oh god, what the hell is this? I don't know. Wait, they've just been both been sucked up into that. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! 
I don't understand what the hell am I These are fears. Take responsibility. No, Leave me alone. Why are you me? I I I've got I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I don't think that I'm supposed to. Yeah, this is he's just repeating everything. Stop. Oh, hang on, I am doing damage to it. Freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I Drax, I don't. You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Lie or stole him? Not exactly, but not because I don't want to. But not because I don't... Okay. Uh, not exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Appeal to Drax because it's murder, man, or because they're our family, just give them a chance. That seems more logical our family, answer. Man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And and rock it. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Oh Drax! God, we're on our planet. He was actually at the bridge. This? this ain't good Wait. at all. 